There are two great battles that happened in Islam consecutively. They took place literally a year or less than a year between each other. The very first battle was the Battle of Badr. And that was recited by the Imam in the second raka'ah. He began and mentioned the Battle of Badr. وَلَقَدْ صَدَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرٌ وَعَنْتُمْ أَذِلَّهِ Allah mentioned the Battle of Badr, which was the very first battle that took place on the 17th of Ramadan, the second year after the Hijrah of the Prophet ﷺ from Mecca to Medina. It was a battle that was won by the help and will of Allah. Allah sent down angels to descend from the heavens, going in rows. And at first, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had described he would send down 3,000 angels to support the believers in that battle. And then Allah says, Bala, in tasbiru wa tattaku wa ya'tukum min fawrihim hadha yumdidukum rabbukum bi khamsati alaf. And then Allah says, if you are patient and you hold on fast to him and you persevere, he will send down 5,000 angels to support in that battle. This was the very first battle that took place between 313 unarmed soldiers, Muslims, and 1,000 well-trained Qurayshi armed battle-ready men. Because the Battle of Badr was not meant to be a battle in the first place. It was just Muslims going out, intercept a caravan, and they move it away. At that or during that battle, great men from the Qurayshi side lost their lives. The following year, they gathered and said, we want to come and avenge our men that were killed at the Battle of Badr. And so the Battle of Uhud took place. And this battle took place in the month of Shawwal, the third year after Hijrah. One year plus after the Battle of Badr. From the third Raka'ah all the way to the sixth Raka'ah, Allah describes the Battle of Uhud. And what happened during the Battle of Uhud. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed the Battle of Uhud to take place in or on the plains of Uhud. For anyone who visits where this battle took place, you will see that where you have the mountain, Mount Uhud, there is the area of Mecca, which is where the soldiers would have come directly from. But they couldn't access Medina because Medina is created as a city in between two mountains. One of those mountains is Mount Uhud. It was literally as though Medina was created to protect the Prophet the only place they could have access into Medina through was through the area of Uhud. So where the Battle of Uhud took place was where the Qurayshi pagans could only have access into Medina. They came to Medina to fight the Prophet and the faithfuls. This time there were about 3,000 instead of the 1,000 that came for the very first battle. And again the Prophet had prayed and asked for victory from Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard and accepted his prayer. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave a command to the believers, some from amongst them, about 50 archers, to stay on top of a part of, a mount, of the mountain that they would shoot down their arrows when any of the enemies were coming. Unfortunately, during the Battle of Uhud, victory was glaring at the side of the Muslims. The Qurayshi pagans began to retreat. And as they retreated and they ran, they dropped some of their armor. They dropped their swords. They dropped their shields. Some of them had swords that were made of gold. Some of them had shields that had rubies on them, very alluring to the eye. The 50 archers that were giving the command, stay here, do not move. All 50 of them, or some of them, began to leave the mountain. And they said, look, we are winning the battle. The Qurayshi pagans are retreating. We have the ability to take all of these things. For a very brief moment, they looked at the booty, at the ganima, and they overlooked the command of the Prophet ﷺ. And that was the beginning of the end of that battle. As they descended from that mountain, Khalid bin Walid, an army general, someone who had a mastery in, in military strategy, was on the side of the Qurayshi pagans, he saw when the archers were coming down and he turned round that entire mountain and he struck the Muslims from behind. The Muslims were in the middle, chasing after the Qurayshi pagans and then Khalid bin Walid was coming from behind them. 
And when the Qureshi pagan saw Khalid and his army and horsemen, over 200 riding and killing from behind, they turned and they faced the Muslims again, and the Muslims were in the center. And at this time, the Prophet ﷺ was in the center of that entire battle. The Sahabas surrounded him, they made a ring around him to protect him. But that did not stop one of the worst things that happened to the Prophet ﷺ to happen to him. Continue tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.